Hey there, everybody. Fet here, and welcome back. Ooh, look at the, the Ryan installation is all red and angry. To that plays RimWorld 1.0. Hope you're all doing today. I tell you, I'm doing. What is this? We got Movado, we got Rojo, we got Rolls, we got Genesis. We're all hanging out, having a good time. We got some plutonium making over here. It also takes time, but don't worry about it. It's pretty great. Over in Microton, have some nice rain. It's nice. The crops love it. As you can see, here they are. Look at this flammel plant. Loving it. It's doing the I love rain dance right now. It's a beautiful sight. Yeah, I think life is pretty good. Ragamuffin City. Looking all right. Things seem to be moving. People seem to be grooving. Animals scooting around like it ain't no thing. Shadow. Working on a rest. <laughs> Thank goodness. Frog Annie with some components over here. Omnibot. Making clothing. As you do. Georgia. Healing up. From a couple of alpaca kicks. Wendy also healing up from a couple of Lancer Fist. Everyone's doing okay. Now it is almost midnight over here on the rim. So the boys aren't doing any traveling right now. 0.8 days though. 0.8 days. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm definitely obviously looking forward to this all happening. But it takes a lot of days for a little bit of plutonium to get done. So we got a lot of, we got a waiting to do. More than I'd probably like, but that's okay. How long we got to wait for another room atomic ship? 17 hours. Awesome. That's the best news. Because you know you like them ships. You know there's a tyrannical arrow kin league over here? Just you, unfriendly falcon. And someone else who's here. I mean, you have a titanium knife. It's not that great. Wait, do you have both a quest and a... And... Trade? What? Huh. Well, that's different. I don't really care for it right now. I don't think we need more quests. I think we just need more life. Don't get me wrong. We got a lot of it. Dirk, of course, relaxing socially in the hospital. Where else would you relax socially? Looks like Big T. Feeling pretty good again. Been insulted a couple times, but he's feeling the catharsis. And when you feel that catharsis, you really don't have anything to worry about. That's just how, that's just how life goes, you know? Big kitchen over here looking swoot as heck. I want to feel kind of feel like uh, we're seeing if we can replicate something like that over here. I could move things down a bit to give us a little bit more space, and that wouldn't really hurt anything, you know. Like, move the kitchen bot over here, move the statue that's why I called it a statue. What you gonna do about it? And then we can move the butcher table over and down. Hmm, but these would have to move too. That's trickier. I mean, I could get rid of the cupboard. Or I could get rid of this statue. Or I could just move... No, that's the door. Yeah, move this statue over here. Yo. And move this one here. They even look similar, even though they're made out of slightly different woods. That's just the technicality. Nobody's going to care what wood you're made out of. All right. Yo, a uh, hauling bot. A little, a little help here? You gonna toss me a salad? I mean, a solid, not a salad. Thank you. Please don't toss my salad. Uh, move this down behind the TV now. That's easy enough. You reach behind the TV to get your delicious freaking, you know, fine meals. That's not even that hard of a concept. Just do it. 
All right. Move this down. Yeah, we got something going on. I'm not sure what, but we got something going on here. Because now we just move everything down one. Although... This rack, though. Actually, you know what? Let's frickin' go all the way. Give me some wall fridges. Y yes, the space is already occupied. That's... That's the point. It's supposed to take up the, the wall space. Oh, you're gonna make me do this. Okay. All right. Freak it up. We got five spaces here, so you know what? We'll have a wall here. Like that. So we'll replace those with dual fridges. And then we'll have a place to put more than meals. Yeah. That'll work. Yo, Dirk, I understand what you're doing. You're you're a busy man. You like to grab us them real deal steals. I get it. But now you're gonna do us them real stunk and strunk. Or something. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Uh, let's put this in here. Alright, a couple more need to be done. Did he run back over to that freaking oh no he's con he's doing construction-y things you see it's important work all right that's good i need to deconstruct the wall there we go one more one more if someone could do me this favor no one's gonna do me this favor are they omnibot that's not the favor that's the favor oh and pinky helping out too These fine lads. I just realized I'm going to have to move all these down. Okay, well, Baron has an inspiration. Uh, so with that, I can actually get rid of this, and I can get rid of this. And, you know, I can get rid of this, because we're going to have four of them. Let's go ahead and put these up first, because we can just move them afterwards. We can move them after they're built. Ain't no problem. Okay. We're now a brisk four degrees in here. Don't worry, we're going to fix it. We have strong, fast, hardworking lads. So this will not be a problem long term. Please. Deep through it. You know what? Leave it for now. Dirk, I need you over here. I'll, I need you on the construction phase, please. Ray Ray can't do it alone. Plus, we're, you know, getting close to losing some meat here. All right, Pinky's over here. Pinky wrapping it up. One down, one to go. And zero to go. Okay. So now all those go away. So with that done, we could actually shrink this room even more. You know, you put this stuff behind the TV. And then you can move that down by two. And then move this down by two. And then maybe even move the TV by two. You see. Actually, I could move this up here, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna move it right here. Move that right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's equidistant right now. And then the TV. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the TV yet. But I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna consider it. Then we move these boys down. And then we just keep moving things down. Yeah. Like I mean I could even do like this. And have it up against the side here. I can't do that over on, here on this side, necessarily. I mean, I could, kind of, but... You know, well, I guess I 
could. Yeah. We could try that. All right. Move this stuff around. Okay. Build that down. And then wait for this bad boy to move. Please. Please, my heart. Why has no one moved this one? What did the butcher table ever do to you guys? Either way, you lads can see what we're doing now. We're gonna move this down next. And this one. And then we're gonna move the door. Yeah. And then this guy's gonna move. Does no, does no one want to move this butcher table or something? Reserved by Omnibot54. Well, he better get his Omni ass over here. You're using it! Move this table. For Omnibot. Freaking ticks me off. Okay. There we go. Alright, we're gonna get that all moved down. And then, once that's done, we can put in even more... Yeah, we can put them in the middle even, maybe. Boom. Alright, alright. Almost there. Yep, that gets deconstructed. This one gets constructed. And then all the light leaves this room. Yes. Now the temperature should go down. And we should have ourselves a nice fun time. I'm actually gonna boop, 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 and boop. There you go. I'll buy us a little bit more. And we could put all the berries and stuff somewhere. And, you know, we could even look at getting rid of this actual stockpile zone. But it would be better just to go ahead and expand it instead. Must be real. I mean, better is subjective, but you know what I'm getting at here. And it is cold in this room again. Everything's frozen. Beautiful. Actually beautiful. Progress is being made. Honey, quit getting your dirt all over the ground, please. What the heck? There you go. Yeah. yeah. We could even replace these with single tower refrigerators if we really wanted to. I don't think we need to do that. But we could if we really wanted to. Why don't you move all these cocoa nuts in here, dude? This is listed as important. Oh, because this is also listed as important. Move this down to preferred. That way, if you can, they go in the barrels instead. Now we should move all the coconuts. And it looks like we have plenty of places to move more berries, so those should get moved. And the meat might get piled together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we did something good here. Are any of the things stuck with the same kind of meat? No, they all look different. Okay, well, that's a good thing. It means we're not wasting any space, necessarily. Fairless 3 is fully healed, by the way. It's pretty great. Irene has gotten food poisoning from a bowl of stew. That's not that great. But yeah, now we're moving our nuts. Yo, Panther, what are you doing? Of course it's Augusto's fault. Hey, look what works out for us. All these upgraded mini turrets. Lovely. Speaking of which, you guys are like, hey, you should upgrade the turrets over in your other city. I mean... Yeah, I could. That's going to be an expensive order. 
we're gonna be having to crank out components like crazy oh my god he makes those so quickly anyway we've almost got another big a full group of troll blood ready to go it's alright though we got plenty of steel and steel translates directly to that stuff so it's not really a problem oh yeah you can cleaned up most of the flooring over here it's freaking beautiful dude except for the blood on the floor I like it I like it a bit that's okay the blood should eventually get automatically cleaned up because the large steel bin is apparently like a vacuum for all stains just takes a while to work Peterson has inspired creativity. I'm not complaining about that. Don't even insult me like that. I guess. Anyway, what can I put over here? Let's see. Food prep table. That would be something. A sweets table. I don't know. We don't have a food prep table. Let's let's make one here. Let's put this thing up. Maybe it'll be fun. Maybe we can make some, I don't know, some canned flammel meat. See how that flutes her boot. How's that fine meal, Dismas? Out of our nice, fine new kitchen. It's pretty great, isn't it? Wow, that thing got built fast. Okay, and it comes with a sink. All right, we can make simple meals. We can make tofu. Make polenta, psych IT, cheese. We can pickle vegetables. We can salt meats. We can make vegan egg substitute. Garbage. <laughs> Mostly garbage. That's okay. It's a it's a start. You know what? Just give us ten simple meals. 6.4 days and we're going to have an attack, by the way. We don't know who is attacking. So it's probably, if I were to guess, probably commandos. Not that I love them, but, uh, you know. They need to attack eventually. All right. The upgrade process has begun. It's going to be uh, 40 steel, 10 plasteel, and two components for each one. We got the steel. We probably even have the plasteel. It's the freaking components, man. We got Birch working on some components. But I don't think she's going to be able to work fast enough. And I don't think. I mean, I know she's not going to be able to work fast enough for this. Hmm. I'm looking at this and I'm like, would it be better just to squish it down even more? I mean, it'd be possible if I turn this on its side here and then got rid of the table and then did the same thing over here. I mean, I, I don't know, man. It's already squished down to an unbelievably impressive space. Another threat detected. Uh, we don't know who it is, but they're going to be here much more quickly. 19 hours. All right. Via drop pods. Ooh, diggity. Well, we have an order to scramble them, so we're going to try to frick them up. But the fact that we know they're coming by drop pod is important. Thankfully, we already have the best boys here. Point three days before Lucky's Caravan gets ready to stomp some more butts. Should be pretty great. Should be. You never know in this day and age, man. Either way, good little improvement. Nice quality of life thing. I don't think that hurts anybody too much. I mean, I could... I could remove the bottom row and make it look a little bit better that way. I could get rid of the poker table and all the stuff associated with it. It's not like we need this here, but I like it there. What's well, not the love? Augusto got some wood. Good for him. Feel free to tell Augusto how proud you are of his wood. 
All right, to be blunt, not too much else is going on right now, and that's not necessarily a problem, you dig? The ship is flying smoothly. We got plenty of food. We got plenty of growth. Ooh, yeah, plenty of growth. And we're all having a good time. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Got plenty of prisoners over here. Not nah, not as much a good thing for them, but you know what are you gonna do? You gonna break them out of something? Like a loser? Zebra also got some wood. Nicely done. We're just waiting for this attack at this point, basically. Taking on Holland. The entire country. Wrapped up at the size of one state. We see our way through wrecking that without donning our ponce. What you got? Still only... Oh, no, there's a third one here that's done. Why did you skip all of these and then do this one? Who told you to do it like this? I know it wasn't me. I see one green there. Don't see any other green there right away. Don't worry, they'll happen though. You'll be fine. Yo, didn't I put up another... Yeah, I did. I was gonna say, didn't I put up another mechanoid platform over here? We have some mechs over here. You know what? What we got now? Kafka, he is a mammoth. Ooh, a good Inferno Cannon. Let's get a Centipede over here in Ragamuffin as well. Hack that sucker. Yeah, hack him and crack him. Also, while we're at it, let's go ahead and funk up an emergency signal here. See what happens. Are there any bots left down here? In Fort Yangus? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, Lucky's Caravan has met with the Tyrannical Arrow Kin League. What do you got? You got sculptures. Awesome. An Alpha Poly Grand Sculpture. Normal quality 3800 beauty. That's... That's amazing. Why... Does an artist troop from the Tyrannical Arrow Kin League have nine level five kitchen bots? What? What? Okay. And other than buying some smoke leaf joints and some ambrosia, it doesn't look like we're going to get much out of this trade on our end. You know, sell them the jade too. We just don't need it. But yeah, we don't have anything else. All right. Cool. Thank you for the support. Yeah, hack one of these centipedes too. Have a little bit of fun. Thirk. Oh, no, don't haul it to a centipede casket, please. Hauling by 61 is gonna uh, do the other job there of moving it. Thank you for the extra little sheepies. Definitely appreciated. Birthday today. Meant as literally as possible. Alright. Ambush Shrubland. We're gonna claim it. We're gonna claim it for the ragamuffins. Flamel meets right away in storage. Oh, I don't appreciate that. Not that there's anything I can do about it. I just want to voice my displeasure. I feel like I should concrete up more area, you know? I feel like the world needs more concreted area. In fact, we can literally afford more concrete over here. So I'm very tempted to spit out more. I could... I could pump out concrete under all this. I'm not even entirely sure why it hasn't been done. This can all be concreted. Nobody needs nature in this area. What are you talking about? Where are the ragamuffins? Nature obeys our command. And if you don't like it, you can probably lump it. Alright. Yeah. More 
Concretorium, please. I'm not going to make any of this concrete, I don't think. Not yet. I don't know what I'm going to do with this area, to be honest with you. We'll figure it out someday. Definitely concrete this little corner here, though. And then at least do concrete over here on this side in the equal. And then concrete all of this. Augusto has gotten himself some muffalo wool while fishing. Well, good job, my dude. All right, you know what? Let's go one extra step here. There you go. A little bit more concrete. Oh, yeah, we're getting that replaced pretty well. In fact, let's bring it over here, too. Go as far out as you can go without putting up a bridge. Believe it or not, I do think that'll look a little better. What the hell is with all this dirt? Oh, my lord. Oh, my lands. Who'd have thought all this concrete would be dirty as hell? This can all be home area. Clean up some of that stuff. Apparently concrete tracks dirt quite easily. But I kind of like the idea of having it. More of it, I should say. Yeah, we don't have a lot of concrete over here, but that's okay. I mean, we have nice smooth sandstone all up through here. It's part of the reason why this is a very impressive little, uh, little space here. Slightly dirty, but who is in this day and age? Point one before we have a fight. Thank you, BuilderBot52. Doing what needs to be done. For the good of all of our lives. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm already liking it more. My favorite part is how it squares off the paved tiles. So that, you know, they're, they're actually squares. Hacking successful. Rider has successfully hacked a mechanoid and named it Killer. Because, of course, he did. Hello, Killer. How you doing? Yeah, just drop him on the floor. Like he's a hot freaking potato. All right, eventually we'll need to give him some upgrades. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, duder. Even got some more uh, bamboo. That's what goes up there. Good stuff. All right, well... This was the adventures of concrete and kitchen expansion. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more because it's going to keep coming. It probably won't stop coming. But if it does, don't get it twisted. Go ahead and finish that off for me, dude. Thank you. And also finish this one off for me, dude. Dismiss, I'm sorry you're a little slow. <laughs> Thanks again for watching this episode of Thet Plays Rim World 1.0. My name is Thet. Yeah. And I will see you in the next video.